you don't need to pay extra money to scale up your business. Yes, you heard me right. Smart businesses don't overspend. They make the most of what's available for free and still get amazing results. If you are giving away your hard-earned money to expensive subscriptions or platforms, this video is a must-watch for you. Today, I'm breaking down how to build a complete working sales funnel from start to finish. I'll start by creating a lead magnet form that grabs your potential customer's attention and collects their info. After that, I'll show you how to organize all those incoming queries into one centralized dashboard so you never miss a single opportunity. Finally, I'll guide you through using an email marketing tool that automates your follow-up process to nurture those leads and turn them into paying clients. I'm doing all of this using just three free tools that work seamlessly together and, of course, completely free. So whether you're on a budget or looking for a smarter, cheaper way to grow, this free guide is what you need. So stick around and I'll reveal each tool as we go. Let's begin with the foundation of any sales funnel, a lead capture form or what I call your client magnet. So to create a perfect form, I'm using Fluent Forms, and despite being free, it's super fast, easy to use, and powerful enough to handle most basic form needs. Since I already have it installed on my site, I'll go ahead and open it. You'll see I've got a few forms created from earlier projects, but for this funnel, I'm building a brand new one. Once I try to create a new form, it offers me multiple ways to choose from. This time, Instead of dragging and dropping fields like usual, I noticed there is an AI form generator built in. I haven't tried it before, so let's give it a shot and see how it works. Well, I've got two boxes and some suggestions there, where I need to provide the requirements about the form I want. As my form will collect basic info from my clients, let me write a prompt accordingly. Let's keep things simple and write, create a query form with name, email, and text field. Well, the instruction seems good. What's it create? It's taking shape. Wow, Fluent Forms has built a clean, simple forms with the fields I asked for. And look, each field has a little star next to it, meaning it's required. So, no one can submit the form without providing the details the field is asking for. That's exactly what I need to make sure every submission includes the key info. The best part is, the input fields are completely customizable based on my requirements. Let's say I don't want the last name field to be mandatory to be filled. I can do that with a click. Or at any point, I may need to add an error message to guide my leads better. That's also at my fingertips. The submit button text looks very generic to me, and I don't think it aligns with my business. Let's replace it with send inquiry. Perfect! Keeping the rest of the settings as it is, let's save the changes. Alright, with the form created and customized, let's move on to the next step. In case you don't want to miss important opportunities and overlook a potential client just because their message got buried in my inbox, you must pay attention to this part. That's why I use a tool called Fluent Boards. This easy-to-use project management tool allows me to keep track of every single query without switching apps. Let me show you how it works. Fluent Boards is already on my site, so I just click into it from the dashboard. Right now, I have a couple of boards set up, one for personal stuff, one for my team, but now I'm creating a new board just for lead tracking. So let's add a new board. I'll name this one Lead Conversion Board. And under description, I'm going to write Track and Manage Incoming Sales Inquiries and Monitor Their Progress Toward Conversion. So, this helps clarify the purpose, especially if other teammates join later. Saving the changes takes me directly to my task management page. It gives me three default stages. Open, in progress, and completed. I prefer to be more specific though. This is why I will rename the first one as inquiries, the other one as contact made, 
and the last one to convert it. And I'll add one more stage called Lost Leads. Because let's be honest, not every lead is going to convert and tracking drop-offs is just as important as tracking wins. Well, the board looks set now. As of now, it stays as it is. But I can add my team members whenever I want easily. All I need to do is click on the three dots and go to members to get this done. Alright, I think my board is set. Now, let's tackle the next piece of the funnel puzzle, getting the CRM organized. Now, let's talk about converting these leads into actual clients. To turn those fresh leads into paying customers, I need an email marketing solution. My go-to is Fluent CRM. It is a fully self-hosted email marketing automation and CRM tool built dedicated for WordPress. And the best part is, it's a freemium plugin. The free version is good enough for me to deal with these basic stuff. The plugin's already living happily inside my WordPress dashboard. When I go to the tag section, I see some tags I created before. I'll add a new one called inquiries. This helps me group contacts who submitted the lead form. Just as easy as it looks. Now, let's get into the lists. These are great for keeping clients organized from the very start. I'll create a new list just for these leads so that every new contact gets categorized properly. And it's done! With tags and lists in place, Fluent CRM is ready to work with the rest of the system. By now, I have created a form, organized the board, and tweaked my CRM a bit to make them perfect for my sales funnel. Alright, now it's time to connect everything. Let's go back to the lead form I created and head to settings and integrations. That opens up the confirmation message. It looks good. Yet, I'll simply embed a shortcode that dynamically fetches the lead's name and shows it to them every time they submit the form. Okay, now, I will directly move to the Configure Integrations. Tapping on Add New Integration will uncover all the available options. As I only have Fluent CRM and Fluent Boards installed, I can see them here. Let's start with Fluent CRM. I'll keep the feed name as it is and pick the list that I have just created. Now comes the field mapping part. I will just handpick the relevant fields. Here, let me choose the contact tags and tick the boxes that fit my criteria. Well, the feed is already enabled, so let's save it. Now, every time someone submits the form, their data will be added to Fluent CRM automatically with the defined list and tags. The next thing is to convert form submission into a task. For that, I will create another feed. And this time, let's go with Fluent Boards. I'll select the board, then pick the stage and a label that perfectly highlights my tasks the best. After that, let me choose the assignee to handle the query which is obviously me for now. And last but not least, I will send the priority as high. Here comes another handy part, task title. Well, I will write query form and then embed a short code to fetch my client's name automatically. And for the description, I will simply embed the query field short code to directly show whatever my leads wanted to know. Perfect. Moving forward. I will insert two short codes to fetch the submitter's name and email. And fix the task position to top so that the new queries always come first. Keeping the rest of the settings as it is, let's save the changes. With that tab, my feeds are also set. Whenever a lead submits your form, they receive a personalized confirmation message and their details are synced across tools without lifting my finger. And now it's time to take the next big step, automating the rest of my leads journey. For that, my destination is Fluent CRM. Here, I will open the automation tab and go for creating one from scratch. Switching to Fluent Forms will open up the action trigger for new form submissions. I chose this trigger because I want this sequence to kick off the moment someone fields out my lead magnet form. 
Now, let's name the automation something like Customer Query Automation. It's time to select the form for which the automation will start and map other fields. The next action must involve some strategic move. I don't want to overwhelm my lead immediately with a response the second they hit submit. That can feel robotic. So instead, I add a short wait around 20 to 30 minutes. After that, I will pick a custom email and craft a personalized email that feels genuine and helpful. Whether it's a thank you message, a quick note about what to expect next or a resource that helps them in the meantime, the goal is to build trust right out of the gate. That helps them in the meantime, the goal is to build trust right out of the gate. Now, let me just flip the switch and make it live. That's it. Every form submission now gets a warm, well-timed follow-up without me lifting a finger. And now I've got a more exciting one. I want to automate part of the journey when the lead is moved through different stages in my Fluent Boards task board. Let's open Fluent Boards. Here I've got two action blocks. Contact added to the task and state changed. I will choose a state change trigger. First of all, I will rename the automation as Onboarding Email Automation. Let's select the board for this automation. As for the From stage, I'm going with the stage where the query is stored at the start and the target stage is converted. This moment is huge. It means a lead just became a client. Now save the changes. This will make the automation kick off whenever a task is moved to the defined stages. As the client is converted, welcoming them on board is also very important. Let's grab a custom email and rewrite the subject line accordingly. After that, I can personalize the email body to send the perfect welcoming message to my new clients. To fasten the process, you can use import template. And it's done! Now, every time a new lead is converted to a client, an automated email will be sent to them to welcome them on board. These two are just one of many use cases of automation. You can customize the funnel according to your business requirements and nurture your leads exactly the way you want. Now that all the pieces are in place, it's time for my favorite part, testing the entire system from the client's point of view. Let's start by visiting the live form on my site, just like a potential lead would. My clients can see and fill it up with their name, email, query, and hit submit whenever they need. That single action sets off a powerful chain of events. Within seconds, a new task pops up in Fluent Boards, perfectly tagged and prioritized, showing all the details of the lead's query. This ensures I never miss an inquiry, even if I'm managing dozens at a time. Now, if I move to Fluent CRM, here I can see that a brand new contact has been added to the list I created earlier. It's tagged properly, it's sitting in the right list, and all the information from the form is already mapped automatically. And the automation for form submission also kicked off to ensure everyone stays updated and everything stays relevant. The entire system is doing exactly what it's supposed to do, and that's how you organize and automate a lead funnel without micromanaging any step. And there you have it. I've now built a complete automated sales funnel from capturing leads to managing tasks to nurturing prospects into paying clients all completely free. This isn't just a one-time hack. It's a repeatable system you can now scale, customize, and evolve as your business grows. The basics of each step are covered in this video. Now, you can go ahead and customize a funnel based on your workflow and niche. I'd love to hear how you're using it. Drop a comment below with your biggest takeaway or tell me which part you'd like to go deeper into next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on more smart, cost-effective growth strategies brought to you by WP Manage Ninja. Until then, work smart, spend less, and remember, with the right tools, free doesn't mean basic. It means brilliantly efficient. Grab them now.